Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the online class of biology of Class Nine. We are looking for our lesson issue, and in lesson issue, we have completed plant issue as well as various types of animal issue. In animal issue, we have completed two types of animal issue. What are those? Epithelial issue and muscular issue. Understood? There are four kinds of animal issue. So we have completed out of them two animal issues. Because I have not arranged the cement. 
having supporting and packing to our organs. Understood students? So this is the second property of the connective tissue that it provides packing, supporting and binding material to our body. Okay. Now we will go for the third characteristic or property of a connective tissue. If we will try to look towards the tissue, say suppose this is tissue. Properties 
may be in the form of a rigid or solid material. Okay. So now we will go for the types of the connective tissue. Understood, students? And we will see every type of connective tissue in detail. So our next topic is types of the connective tissue. Firstly, I will write all types of connective tissue for you. The first type of the connective tissue is blood. The second type of connective tissue is bone. Third type of connective tissue is cartilage. Fourth type of connective tissue is ligament. Fifth, tendons. Bones, right? In an adult, there are 206 bones 
are present. While in the chantry, in front there are 306 bones are present. So we have a proper skeletal system, right? And this skeletal system is playing a very very important role in our body. As we have seen the muscular tissue, the skeletal system is responsible for the movement of the body, right? For the locomotion of the body and for maintaining the posture of our body. Maintaining the posture means standing in a proper way, sitting in a graceful way. So this is called as a posture of the body. So these all uh, properties are followed by the skeletal system. As well as very important key, the bone, the bone has to perform or the skeleton has to perform that it is provides the protection for the internal delicate organ. As our brain is kept into the bony box called as a skull, that is also called as a cranium. As well as our spinal cord, which is also playing an important role in our day to day life for the control and coordination in the body, that spinal cord is also protected into the backbone, right? Or the vertebral column, we can say. As well as our cells, heart, and lung is also protected nicely into the rib cage. So, these all roles bone has to perform, and bone is actually hard. So, hard matrix is present into the bone. Understood, students? What kind of matrix is present which makes this tissue very hard? I shall let you know. Suppose this is a tissue of the bone. Then it will have cells. Bone cells will be present. But in between that, a matrix will be present as I said in previous This matrix will be made up of a compounds of calcium and phosphorus, which will make it very, very are calcium and phosphorus compound. It will be made up of calcium and phosphorus compounds and that makes it hard. It is possible. So here the hard matrix is present and we need to work uh, about motion. Yeah. 
understood? So here everywhere such kind of cartilaginous tissues are present. Okay students, do you get cartilaginous tissues properly? Okay. Now we will go for the next connective tissue, the fourth the type of the connective tissue. That is ligand. Ligand. This ligament is also very elastic. It has a strength. It has a strength. It is elastic too and it is flexible. Okay. It has a considerable amount of strength. It has a considerable amount of strength. Then it is elastic. Elastic and flexible. Understood students? So here I shall show you. Just try to understand my diagram. Here I have tried to draw one bone. Why MTB? 
muscle tendon because we may confuse in the ligament and tendon and in exam they are asking every time what is the difference between the ligament and the tendon so this short form will help you to study okay so b l b is what both ligament both and m t b means what muscle tendon okay so if it will be asked the difference you can write easily the difference between it okay so now we will go to the next connective tissue that is areola connective tissue that is areola connective
there are no more tissues in our body so we will talk about very important tissue in our body on which our whole control and coordination of our body is depends so this tissue is playing a very very important role in our body related to this tissue there will be a specific chapter next year you will have in class 10 you will have a chapter and the name of that chapter is control and coordination so related to this tissue and related to nervous system we are going to see everything related to the nervous tissue and the nervous system but here i shall little bit introduce to you about the nervous tissue okay nervous tissue uh, smallest unit of the nervous tissue is nerve cell okay so the structural and functional unit of the nervous system is called as a neuron or a nerve cell understood students the smallest unit of the nervous system is called as a neuron or nerve cell do you get it or the structural and functional unit of nervous system is called as a neuron so where these neurons are present or the nervous system is composed of which kind of organs so we will see here students so nervous system is composed of brain spinal cord and nerve cells which are present into our sense organs right we have five sense organs so brain is protected nicely into the bony box called as a skull or cranium right then the stem of the brain is attached to the spinal cord the spinal cord is also protected into the vertebral column properly right and from this spinal cord the neurons the branches of neurons goes to the various sense organs of our body so sense organs which are the sense organs the sense five sense organs we have which are attached with the receptors right the first sense organ in our body that is skin right and the skin contains thermoreceptors or pigmoreceptors which determines the feeling of cold and hotness as well as the surface whether the surface is rough or smooth this is also determined by the uh, thermoreceptors or the thermoreceptors so the, in the skin there are specific kind of receptors means these neurons only are present those are called as a thermoreceptors or the thermoreceptors the another type of the receptors which are present in our ears right because ear is also one sense organ so ear contains audio receptors or the phono receptors which will acquire the uh, sound acquire means which will sense the sound and which will pass to the spinal cord or to the brain so here contains the phono or audio receptors right right after it we have our tongue tongue is also a sense organ which determines the taste and the uh, receptors which are present in our tongue called as a gustatory receptors Which determines the taste, whether we are eating sweet, then salt, or any other taste. It determines or bitter. These tastes are determined by the tongue. Okay. Then the one important receptor we forgot that is present in our nose, nostrils. That is uh, olfactory receptors, which determines the smell. If the pleasant smell is coming, then if this fragrance is coming, then we can come to know if the foul smell is coming. somewhere is stinking then also we can come to know so because of this all sense organs contain specific kind of receptors and those receptors are also attached with the neuron or receptors means only the neurons okay so the network of neuron is present throughout our body but not to each and every cell of the body understood why it is not present that we will see in the higher classes in class 10 we will learn about it we have a chapter properly so here i will just like to introduce you how this uh, nervous tissues are designed in our body so brain is the main thinking part in our body okay brain is uh, uh, designed for decision making part or the thinking part of the body we can say this whatever it is the site it is the complete site of what intelligence emotions skills understood knowledge right so this is the site of all these things so brain is the thinking part brain will think over it and will take the decision understood 
break will immediately not take decision. Then who is taking immediately decision into the nervous system? Spinal cord and these receptors. Okay. So spinal cord is also made up of the nerve cells or the nerve tissues. But as brain we have seen in the main thinking part means brain we can term as boss. Brain is the boss of the body while the spinal cord is the manager of the body. Means it is managing whatever it is decided by the brain. Okay, so spinal cord we can term as a manager. So it, uh, this manager has not all rights to perform. But some rights are given to this manager also. Okay, whenever there is an extreme condition means uh, there are various kind of uh, stimulus around us. And our body is responding to the stimulus. Right? If from, uh, uh, from front, if the vehicle is coming in the spirit, what you are going to do? You are going to be aside because you are going. If we will uh, be in front of it, then you are going to die. Right? So we are going it. But here, first, what happens? The photoreceptor. Sorry, photoreceptor. Yes, one important receptor I forgot to tell you that is present in our eyes because eye is also an important sense organ. Eye contains the uh, photoreceptor. Through, through photoreceptors, it will recognize that the uh, vehicle is coming in a speed and so I have to go uh, aside. Otherwise, I would die. So, here our receptors and our muscular system has worked together and it has given the result that we have won or which if we will touch the hot plate. What do we do? When we touch the hot plate, we are immediately throwing it because our sense organ can determine the uh, feelings that it is extreme hot and if you will not throw it, your hand may burn. But if this situation will be given to the brain, then it will take time to take a decision. <coughs> Even brain is the main decision making part, but if the, this situation will go to the brain, then it will take time because brain will think over it till that our own hand will burn. Right? So that who is managing all this situation? These situations are managed by the spinal cord. These receptors are receiving the signal in the form of electrical impulses. See the message which we get from the stimulus that is called as an electrical impulses. Understood students? Electrical impulses or message we can say. This message is passed through the network or the channel of neuron. One, uh, one uh, in front of other neurons are present like this. And through this, this message is passed. Then this message will not go to the brain. It will go to the brain. Which brain would now to know that something is happening here. But here what would happen? This message will go to the spinal cord. Spinal cord is manager. So spinal cord will try to manage the situation. It will be immediately send the message to the muscular tissue that oh, uh, leave the plate otherwise hand may work. So this all the things happens in a fraction of a second. I am taking to time to explain you all these things, but it happens in no time you can see, or it happens in a fraction of a second. So such reactions are said to be reflex action. In the sudden reaction that we give, that is called as a reflex action. And reflex actions are not controlled by the brain. Okay, whenever any thinking process will be there, that time only brain is working. Otherwise, then all the things are managed by the spinal cord. So do you understand students so these all uh, three uh, parts which are made by uh, our nervous system that is brain, then spinal cord and the uh, our uh, sense organs receptors. So now here I would like to explain you a structure of a single neuron or a single nerve cell. Okay. So we will see the structure which is really very really easy to draw. You also can draw. 